And now, My Thought Chain by Olincelot. A little while ago, I was talking with my brother, and he reminded me of how he taught me how to downhill ski. And he asked me why I hadn't done a thought chain about that experience yet. And I said, I don't know why I haven't done a thought chain about that. So, here it is. When I was a kid, I was in the Cub Scouts. And for this one scout trip, we went up into the mountains and we stayed in these little cabins. And we rode into these cabins with snow machines and it was shaping up to be an awesome camping trip with all my friends. It was so cool that we got to go skiing for the first time, a lot of us. And since there wasn't any outhouses close by, we actually used to pee right next to the cabin and that actually got us into quite a bit of trouble and they almost kicked us out of the campgrounds. But we didn't care. We were excited to go downhill skiing and even though all we had was cross-country skis. The only problem was was that we had to stay in these tiny little bunks and there were several of us that were all crammed into this tiny space. And So I decided I was going to get some sleep as soon as I could and get my rest. And I was sleeping and decided to go skiing first thing in the morning but I woke up about two hours later and there was an orange a bottle of juice and an apple all balanced on top of my head because the other Cub Scouts they were playing a prank on me and worse than that I realized that this orange the juice and the apple was all that was left of my food because all those other kids had rummaged through my backpack and ate all of my camping food for the whole weekend. They thought it was funny, but I was pretty ticked off. So rather than hang out with any of those guys, I just decided to go up late at night and use the tow rope and try to go downhill skiing on my cross-country skis. Now, I had never done this before, but I was so mad that I was determined to try and figure it out which basically resulted in me crashing really bad several times. But I knew that there was potential and I had a lot of fun. So I talked to my brother about it and he already knew how to downhill ski so he decided he would take me to a real ski resort, take me to a somewhat simple part of the hill and he was going to show me how to do it the right way. Now looking back, and since I know how to ski pretty good now, it really wasn't that big of a hill that he took me on, but it definitely wasn't a bunny hill either. And I remember getting off the lift and my brother standing there all confident, and I was kind of freaking out at how steep the hill looked and how crazy it was that we had these sticks strapped to our feet and in our hands and we were supposed to go down, but he flew right down the hill and showed me how to turn and made it look really easy. So I thought, heck, I can do that. I made one tiny little turn and then I pretty much just plummeted straight towards the bottom of the hill. Now, at the time he would kind of shown me how to turn, but I didn't know how to stop at all. So when I got out of control, the only thing I knew how to do was stick my butt in the snow as hard as I could to try and use it as a brake. And it worked pretty good and after about 20 or 30 yards I actually stopped. But I was only about halfway down the hill and my brother was laughing hysterically because behind me was a deep trench that I had made with my rear end. And all these people on the ski lift were laughing at me. That's when it kind of occurred to me that if you have a lot of speed and turning that doesn't necessarily mean that you can stop but if you have a lot of speed and you try to make a butt trench that's definitely not cool so I think going fast and turning but not being able to stop is a better choice so once I inched my way back down to the bottom of the hill we did what any crazy person would do we got back on the lift and headed right back up to the top He gave me a few more tips and said, Okay, man, I'll see you at the bottom and just make your way down as best you can. 
once again he took off and made it look like it was super easy. So I thought, okay, he's clear down there at the bottom where all those people are lined up at the lift ready to get back on. So all these people are watching and I got to just try and make it down without hurting myself. And I'm definitely not going to sit down again and make another big butt trench so everyone can laugh at me. So I was up at the top of the hill and I took a deep breath and basically I kind of leaned forward and hoped for the best. Once again I took off and made one tiny turn and then I was plummeting straight towards the bottom at high velocity. I think I was even kind of screaming at one point because I was completely out of control. And I just remember my brother desperately yelling, TURN! And I was flying towards the bottom of the mountain and right in front of me was this big rock face to where if I didn't turn I was going to smash right into the cliff face and probably break my arms and legs. So I made this crazy turn to the left and when I looked forward instead of hitting a cliff face I noticed there was a huge snow cat with a snow plow and all these sharp blades on the front and it looked pretty pissed off like it wanted to eat me alive. And somehow, beyond all the reasoning of physics, I made about a 90 degree turn to the left and then back to the right and narrowly missed the front of that plow. The only problem was, is instead of hitting the cliff face or the big snow cat, I was now headed right towards the back of the ski lift line where everybody was standing up. And for a moment, this vision of, in my mind played out of me knocking all these people down like they were bowling pins. And my brother was screaming like, stop, you gotta stop. And I was flying down the hill right towards all those poor people that had no idea I was coming. But somehow, I slowly and gradually came to this stop. And I was calmly in the back of the line like I had meant to do it. So I just turned around towards my brother and said, are you coming or what? And he just burst out laughing like it was the funniest thing he'd ever seen. That was one of the luckiest moments of my life. I have a lot more ski stories to be told, so I guess this one's going to be continued. <laughs>